So yeah, everyone thinks I started skating because of my dad, because he skated, you know? But uh, he just said like, yeah, you just do whatever you want to do and that's it. But he never like pushed me into skating. So yeah, when you go into my apartment, it's like a picture of my dad when he's doing a frontside air. And I kind of always looked at that picture when I was younger and just kind of like, oh yeah, maybe I should, I should try that. I told him I wanted to try skating. He's like, yeah, cool. And then he bought me a board and yeah. This is Stockholm City. Over there, this, and that's the old town, the first part of Stockholm here. And yeah, this is where the train goes over to Södermalm, where I live. I don't know how many years exactly, but I can't really remember when it was like this much snow. I don't know what I would do, probably stay home or maybe. Yeah, I would stay home or go to the skate park. It used to be in a tent in the 90s, and then they moved here like 20 years ago, I think, and it got serious, like a serious indoor park or whatever you want to call it. You're inside here for, I don't know, seven months a year. It's a lot of people complaining here like, oh, I can't skate outside, but probably like some of the best skaters grow up with a flat curb outside the house and they're the best skaters. So it's not what you have, it's what you do with what you have, you know? som lastbilar står och spinner in minimal uppförsbacke. Men det är klart efter Fredhälstunneln i alla fall. Jag skrev här för nästan varje dag för fyra eller fem år, jag skulle säga. Jag skrev här i sommar och sen skrev jag inne i den indoor parken i vinter. Och sen när de byggde bryggparken så började jag gå där. Det är inte så mycket historia, det är bara en av de första bowls i Sverige. I think in concrete, like outside. Okay. Pontus asked me and Oski to ride for um, for Polar before it started, uh, like a year before he started it. Yeah, me and Oski were the first guys on. We were in a skate contest, I think, and then Pontus wrote this on my board. I got this from a. Um, from this, from a skate store, I didn't even get it from my dad or whatever. And the owner told me like, yeah, I have this photo of your dad with the crew. And then he gave it to me. This is my dad. He was sponsored by New Sport, an indoor park. One guy is like on roller skates. Yeah, this is the uniforms they used to, they used to do demos in. Check that V. <laughs> I don't know, before I, I, I was only skating and only like skate, skate and didn't really care about anything else. I just want to do stuff that makes me happy. I get inspired by being around these like three friends or whatever I have and they do the same with me. 
I think when you're younger, you like something and you only do that, and you don't really think of anything else. It's way more stuff than just skating. Oh, makes it ten times worse. Oh. Like last winter, I was in the north and it was 30 yeah. under zero. You couldn't be out more than like five minutes. It's like, imagine being like a homeless dude here. Uh, it's weird, it's a lot of like the older dudes in the skate park, they used to skate when my dad was skating and they're always like telling me like, oh it's crazy, like you and your dad, it looks like exactly the same when you're skating. My dad's album with his old skate photos. He did, this is like all skate tricks. And that's his name, Tuba. Canyon jump, 360 slide, tail stand. I think it's the ones he did and he wrote them down. Or, is it, or maybe it's just random tricks, but I don't think so. Now it's just going through my dad's old stuff and my grandma's and it was just like these old, like old skate mags. I remember my dad told me about this. He's like, yeah, I have a really like big poster in a skateboard mag. And I just remember how stoked I was on the old skate mags. You know, like everything now is like crazy commercials and the old mags is just nice skate photos, you know. They're always telling me these stories about my dad. It's kind of funny. <laughs> like one time this, um, this older dude called Janne he was telling me like, oh yeah, I was super scared of your dad when I was skating. I was standing in his way once and he, he's like, he didn't get pissed, but he was kind of like ignoring him or like, ah, oh, whatever. And then my dad dropped in and he was like, still standing on the platform and he did like a front air really close to him and like giving him the finger, like doing a <laughs> front air and looking him in the eyes. I have a lot of jewelry from my dad, this bracelet. It's like when he passed away, he had it on. So I like took it off and it says like, take no, take no shit. And it's kind of, kind of funny. Cause he was always like that. Don't ever let anyone talk down to you or, you know, he was always kind of like, you have to stand up for yourself and I don't know, yeah. But it's a cool one. My grandma, when she gets mad at me, she calls me his name, and then I'm always like, my name is David. <laughs> 